Hello all, in today's video I'm back with part 3 of my Dollarama haul. So in this part of the haul, it's mainly arts and crafts supplies, and then there's some, I think, three toy items for my son. So let's get started with these items. So these are all items to stick on to other items and hearing things. So this is $1.25, and these are just the glue sticks. They are the uh, all-purpose glue sticks, so 18 in a package. These are the smaller size ones, so... And then we do have a hamster cage, and it uh, is a bin cage, which has, like, this colory thing on the top of it so that it, um, Hammy the hamster can get some air. And it's currently duct tape with blue and red duct tape, but it needs a little bit of fixing up. So I grabbed another one of the red color duct tape. There's a sizing if you want to, uh, if you want to know the sizing on it. So just red duct tape for $1.25. It says all-purpose weather cloth tape. So, and then some clear, just regular transparent clear tape for a dollar by Studio. And there's the sizing. And then I said I needed school glue, and uh, I found these two. So this was the only small kind of white school glue I found. The dollar twenty-five is like a non-toxic, does not run, dries fast and clear, no clog. So try that and then these are both by crafts and then I saw this one which was $1.25 clear glue transparent so we give it a try multi-purpose non-toxic on the clear so we're always doing some kind of arts and crafts project and then because uh, there is no St. Patrick's Day items out I grabbed these for my son because I thought if you want to do some button art as well, we could maybe do like a pot of gold and then he could do like a rainbow with these coming out of it because all nice, beautiful rainbow colors. So uh, they're only a dollar by crafts. There's 12 in each package. So I grabbed two of the each sets that I saw. So there's like the pinks and greens, yellow, light blue and purple. And then you got more of the primary, secondary colors in this. So he can, you know, do it as well. And uh, these are great for counting chips and uh, sorting. He could sort these out if we don't use them for arts and crafts. You could even try to lace them onto something. Do keep in mind they are small parts, so they are choking hazards. But, uh, yeah, he might have fun with these when I'm creating my whatever I decide to do. And then... Uh, Again, for just decorating, I really want spring to get here. So I found these beautiful butterflies. So $1.25 by Crafts, you did get two butterflies. So this one has like some green and pink on it. And then the other one has got an orange center with some mainly white and pink. And these do have the little alligator clip on them. Just like a little cloth butterflies. And then the other one I got is more of like a blue and white one and a pink one there with a little bit of green. So we'll find something to do, make a spring craft, maybe with some flowers or Easter eggs or something. And then I saw these stickers. Now, I didn't notice when I picked it up in the store, this one is off-center. But these are 24-piece stickers by this company here. I've never heard of it. And these are little wooden stickers. So sun, the little cactus, and the llama or a apaca. I think that will be perfect for some of our um, Cinco de Milo activities. So cute. And then the other one I saw has 30 pieces and it's just these really nice wooden little butterflies. Again, by that same company there so cute and then I don't have a color printer so when I print out my son's little activity things and uh, I make like little matching cards and word strips I like to color them in with permanent markers so these are $1.50 just some really bright colors I love that bright pink there by studio permanent markers and they say they're the fine tip and then um, sometimes also I don't like to drag out the laminator and heat it up if I just have to laminate some of the little matching cards or something small. So these are a dollar and you do get eight in the package. And these are for like if you collect baseball or hockey cards. My son does collect National Geographic cards so you can put use it for that as well. But I just like to cut around the edges, put the item in and just seal it up with some tape. That way I'm not, you know, using the laminator for something small. And then finally, they had some paint in. Uh, I got up this one. So the paints are $1.50 there, and they're just crafters acrylic paint. This one is neon green, 118 milliliters in a bottle. I thought, again, for St. Patrick's Day, uh, little 
painting project. I'm not sure if St. Patrick's Day stuff is going to come out. And then I really like this color too. Uh, again, 118 mils. And this one is the Tutti Fruity pink color. So we'll use that probably Valentine's or Easter. And then some paint brushes for my son. I thought this was a great deal. So $1.25 for 30 of these little plastic paint brushes. He really likes painting. So nice bright colors on those. And then sometimes we have something larger to cover, like in paint. So like a large canvas, we're doing the background. So these are $1.25 and there's just a foam brushes and you do get six pieces for covering like larger areas. And then I thought for him, I do sometimes use like those little disposable drink cups when he's washing his paintbrushes, but I figured I'd grab one of these. I should have grabbed more because it's only a dollar. It's just a pink cup with the hinged little lid there that uh, I could fill up with water or cleaning solution to clean his paintbrushes. Of course, I chose the green color one for him. And then we do have a lot of paints. Like we have the basic, um, you know, colors that you just need, the red blue and yellow and then white and black and you can make almost any other color and sometimes we like to add different items like sequins and glitter to our paint so I grabbed these finally I found them so they come in blue and red and they're $1.75 and they are paint brush wa um, washing pots again but I think this is even perfect for doing our little mixes and adding things to our paint so great find on these this ribbon here was technically in the Easter section. It's $1.50 for the nine uh, feet, but the color on this is super uh, like sp uh, bright and iridescent. That's why I liked it with a little bit of pink tone. So this is wired edge ribbon with metallic confetti. So really nice shine on that. And then my son has his favorite monkey hat and the little pom-pom came off. So I was just looking for a quick little sewing kit so I could fix that. So I saw this, $2.50. It's got a lot of different little string there and lots of different sizes in needles. It does come with like a tape measure, some snap buttons, other little tools, and a pair of scissors, safety pins. So cute little set and it's in this nice little container would keep everything together. So not bad. And then I found the plastic word beads for $2. So plastic word beads, you get five ounces in the package. And just have fun words on them like happy, friend, play, forever, like. So we could use these for, you know, doing little like reading projects. My son is not reading yet because he's just turning four. He knows like some basic words to read uh, like mom, dad, cat, <laughs> go. But uh, as he gets older, we can make like, you know, we're doing something, you know, Maybe for Valentine's Day, we can do, like, happy, forever, like, special, and make, like, a little word strip sentence out of these. I don't know. Just something. Plus, they're always great for fine motor. He can just lace them onto string or on pipe cleaners, which he prefers. These next two items, I don't know anything about this game. This is from Disney Infinity. I did look up the characters. Now these are both four dollars each and these this larger set here retails for about I would say uh, 10 to 15 depending on where you're looking on the internet, but uh, I thought it was super cute and uh, It's just Dory it comes with like a little um, I guess seaweed or something there like it looks like a little shell on there so I don't know anything about this game it does say that you need um an internet uh is required for this game but I thought because my son's room is under the sea themed I thought this would be nice I can even cut this out and uh use this artwork in his room so there's some other game characters you can get like I said I would like to know what this game is and Maybe it belongs to some kind of console, but I'm not sure. But I mainly got it for the adorable little Dory character there. So she's super cute. And then they also had Nemo for $4. So, of course, I had to grab Nemo as well. So really cute. And then the last item I'm going to show you is this fun item. This is by Montoy, and it's a mini bowling game. So it's just like a little wooden bowling alley it looks like with these little pins and you just roll the ball down the little ramp and try to get the pins knocked down so for four dollars i thought it'd be something fun for my son and i to do since we're basically stuck inside all the time anyway so thanks a lot for watching this part of the haul tomorrow's video will be valentine's day items so i'll talk to you tomorrow take care bye